Well, last game in the Spectrum, I cannot believe it's already the last game. It's been two years that I'm here and it's already over. It, like just in blink of an eye, he was gone. I'm sad, but really excited at the same time to see what's next. I think she's definitely brought a lot of emotion to the team, especially like on the floor and stuff. You know, she's always going to be like really excited about big plays and she when anybody's done anything well, she gets really excited. Even on the bench, she's always jumping up and cheering for everybody. And I think that's definitely something we'll miss when she's gone. What I'm going to take from Utah State is like how like people are really open to you and like helping you into like to do everything. If you need help, they're going to like really be like open for you and like try any any way of helping you and like to get through your stuff. We both came here last year was our first year. She was from JUCO but she's just always been really supportive of all of us and like even though we were both new she was older so she kind of helped like the transition be easier for us because we were all freshmen so that's like something I've really appreciated. Thanks my coaches like for like like recruiting me and like give me the opportunity to be here in this atmosphere in this school and also in this team. Also like to thanks my teammates for like supporting me and like help me being a better teammate to them and also like my family and my friends who like are across the ocean and still like supports me over there and cheer for me all across the ocean. It's a bittersweet feeling because I'm finish finishing and I'm sad that I'm going to leave all Logan or leave all of these people and maybe not see any of them ever again. And um, but it's exciting at the same time because we're done. Um, the future is in front of us and we have no idea what are we going to do. Tiana has definitely set a standard for post players and she was a junior and I was a freshman and just looking up to the example that she set for the post players is something that I really strive to continue once she's graduated and working on her life. I think I have grown as a person a lot during this three years, especially in basketball, but like basketball made me grow, coaches made me grow because I was such a scared little kid, no confidence. I still don't have confidence, but I have a little bit more. So I guess um, I became, I think I became a better, smarter person. I mean smarter because I gained more knowledge in college. Knowledge in college, that rhymes. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, and I think I'm going to also um, remember how people in this whole community in Logan are so nice to you. Everyone is just ready to do everything for you, even though they don't know you like at all. Like Mrs. L Larson, she's always with us. She's definitely worked hard on the court and she's definitely worked harder off the court and that's something that anybody can try to do. She's um, set some standards for blocking and rebounds and that's definitely something that our team needs. All the coaches and for giving me this opportunity and my teammates for being there for me all the time and to all the people in Logan and fans and thank you my mother who sacrificed so much for me. It's so bittersweet and it's actually like surreal to think how fast it's gone. It's my fifth year so it's really hard to believe how fast it really has gone by. It's kind of cliche where the coaches tell us, it'll be here before you know it, and it's here. And so, bittersweet, probably adds it up. Mariah's like the mom of the team. Um, we joke around with her um, about that, but she's really a leader, and she takes that role on so well. She tells everyone what to do, how to do it. She guides everyone in practices and in games. Um, whether she's off the court or on the court. Um, she's kind of that um, kind of that barrier in between the coaches and the players. So she understands everyone's points of views and she just helps everyone out in a huge way. A life-changing experience. You have to go off to somewhere completely far from home and you know, basketball, um, being here at Utah State, it's enabled me to meet so many amazing people um, going through uh, many uh, amazing experiences and opportunities that I know I'll be able to carry on for the rest of my life. Caring, loving personality, I mean, she's always there for me especially and she always knows the right things to say um, and she's always just like someone 
I look up to because she always tries to do the right things and the best things to help others out and I'll really miss that. I want to thank other coaches. I mean, they've been uh, so amazing, you know, all five of my years. You know, Coach Fink has, you know, just been a tremendous, you know, great coach. You know, I couldn't ask for a better coach. And Micah, Coach Micah, you know, she's, you know, always been there for me and so supportive. Um, and then, you know, Coach Ben and Coach JC, you know, always doing their best. And then also, you know, um, uh, Mr. Hartwell, you know, he's done an amazing job, you know, his first year with Aggie Athletics. And um, all the academic staff, Amber Ray, um, Brian, they've just done a, a great job in always um, keeping us on top of academics and also you know, pushing us to do our best like on the court and in the classroom. So shout out to them. And then, of course, my family and my friends uh, back home and here and all the new friends I've made here in Logan and in Utah. So shout out to them. Thank you. Mm -hmm.